I bet you if we were to take a vote right now, today, as to what people's least favorite, the most unfun map in Overwatch was, that Temple of Anubis, Hanamura, or Volskaya Industries would win hands down. And you notice something about these three maps? They are the three assault maps that are in this game. Now, why why do I think that these would win? Well, because these are the maps that result in the most draws due to flaws in their design, their snowball-y heavy nature, and the scoring system that is used. But it's weird because depending on what level of play that you're at, they're snowball-y and, and they're favored for attackers or defenders in different ways. At a high level in professional play, the attacking team is heavily favored. They can capture point A easily because the defender spawn is so far away and after they capture point A they then snowball with an ultimate advantage into point B which gives them a quick two points. It's for these reasons that assault maps are the least picked and most banned maps in pro play. However, on uncoordinated teams and in lower levels of play, they're heavily defender favored. Think about it. It basically requires a full team wipe to capture point B and that takes coordination. And because the defender spawn is so close to point B, it's pretty easy for them to hold which this also results in these modes being some of the most drawn, no, not even some of them. These are the maps that results in the most draws in Overwatch. We found that out earlier today when the discussion of attack maps, 2CP maps, were brought up on the forums, and Jeff Kaplan responded with this. We've had a lot of discussion about the mode this week. We're talking about some potential changes, but we still want to talk things through for a bit before making immediate changes. One of the problems we're interested in solving is lowering the rate of draws that occur in Assault. The worst offender is Hanamura. On a bad week, the map can draw as much as 18% of the time. To put the number in perspective, control maps draw 0%, payload maps draw 0%, and hybrids draw an average of 5.75% of the time. We think we have some strong ideas to try out when it comes to reducing draws and assault. We have some other problems we're taking a look at as well. But overall, we like Assault as a mode, and we think the maps provide a lot of exciting Overwatch moments. So they freely admit that Assault maps have some problems, and there are some things that they want to address. And I think it's absolutely absurd that a map like Hanamura can get a draw as much as 18% of the time. I mean, that is crazy and points to some obvious flaws in the design. But I think there are some things they could do to fix it without changing all too much. So I'm going to start off with, a, I'm gonna, I want to do a few suggestions, starting off with some of the easiest to implement and then going a little bit crazier. I think the first thing that they could do is to change the scoring system. Draws happen as frequently as they do because of the way the scoring system works. You can only capture two points on a map and there's no variance at all. You, you either get the point or you don't and that's it. Whereas you look at something like a payload map and the winner is determined by the distance pushed. There isn't so much incremental options for scoring on assault, which there needs to be. They could easily fix this by having a point for each capture tick so that each round could potentially result in six points instead of just two. So this gives a lot more variance for people to win or lose and result in less draws. The second potential solution would to be ad adjusting the respawn timers for the defender. Now they've got the information and, and they know better than we do who really has an advantage, the attackers or the defenders. As I mentioned, it, it can depend on your level of play. High level players, the attackers seem to have the advantage because of coordination and ultimate pushes being so strong at getting team wipes and just quickly capturing the second point. With, with uncoordinated pushes, the defenders seem to have a huge advantage. Now, depending on where they see the problem, they could just change the defender respawn timer, either make it shorter or longer, depending on where numerically they think attackers or defenders are at an advantage. And the third and final solution, and this is the craziest of them all, would to be at an extra capture point, turning these from 2CP to 3CP maps. We wouldn't be talking about a, a, a total overhaul. You could literally do it on the maps as they exist right now. And an extra capture point per map would be similar to the altering of the scoring system to account for ticks in that it would make for more variance and less draws. But think about it. On Hanamura, we could do this where the health pack hut is. On Volsky Industries, it could be in that open area by the truck. And on Anubis, they could put it in the ruins in the corner.
courtyard between point A and B. There are spots on the map where you can literally just plop down another capture point and another area for people to fight over. However, this is, again, the, the zaniest and least likely suggestion because the maps aren't designed to have fights taking place at these points. These are supposed to be travel points between fighting locations of point A and B, so it's probably not going to happen. But I think the suggestion of either changing the defender's respawn timer, de depending on where they think the major problem is for the attackers or defenders, or just adjusting the scoring system, I think that these two solutions would drastically reduce the number of draws on the map. Now, it's not going to fix the innate design problems and the fact that these maps are very, very very snowball-y in nature, but it's still a step in the right direction as to making them less frustrating to play and hopefully resulting in more wins and more losses. Either way, I think it's safe to say that assault maps are a little sucky right now and they could use some improvement. So here's hoping that Blizzard has some great ideas in the pipeline and some changes that they're looking to make, because I'd like to see people enjoy these maps more and I'd like to see them picked more in professional play. I actually like these maps design-wise, like uh, visually, I think they're cool places and spaces to play in, but in terms of how the, how the matches play out, and how they're designed, and how the scoring system is, it could definitely use a little bit of work. Alright everybody, that's going to do it for me here today. Thank you all so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you have a good afternoon, and until next time, I'll see you later.